The full body on bank sends its Kamalik chair who had to recuse himself for apparent reasons has ruled and upheld the candidacy of the sitting president as valid and legitimate all along and ever since. Junking yet one more petition to nullify his candidacy over grounds of moral turpitude as a result of his failure to settle his income tax arrears back in the 1980s. PTV correspondent Naomi Taburcio tells us more. The Kamalik dismissed the motion for reconsideration questioning the dismissal by their first division of the disqualification case against President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. during the last elections. Based on the initial argument of the petitioners, including Margarita Salonga Salandanan, the then presidential aspirant should have been disqualified because of his failure to file income tax returns from 1982 to 1985, which allegedly counts for moral turpitude. The Kamalik rejected the pleading because they were not convinced that the failure to file income tax returns is an act of moral turpitude, one of the grounds to disqualify a candidate. The petitioners said the Kamalik's grounds and justifications are inadequate to dismiss the case. However, the Anbang said the petitioners have no basis for their allegations nor have they presented any new arguments to provide justification for their disqualification case. Wala po sa kapangyarihan ng Comelec yung hinihiling nila na baguhin yung desisyon ng Court of Appeal. At yung sabi naman po ng Court of Appeal, say, wala naman po nung sinasabi nilang penalty na perpetual disqualification. This notwithstanding, the Comelec says the petitioners can still appeal this unbank ruling. Wala na pong natitirang pending pa sa Comelec. Kung nais po nilang umakyat sa ating Korte Suprema, pwede naman po sa ating due process na kahanda po ang COP para sa Korte Suprema para sagutin po namin yung kanilang mga magiging allegations. Naomi Tiburcio, For the Nation.